This is the canopy off of my Flyzone Calypso glider. I pulled it off just to show how the GoPro camera is mounted. The secret to everything is the high-tech robot servo, this HSR1425CR continuous rotation servo. That allows for the 360 degree of evolution. The best way to mount the camera is really up to you. In this situation I mounted it to an aluminum plate and then the plate gets screwed on to the servo. That's the lightest, most compact way. You can also use the regular supplied mounts that use the GoPro case. They're fine, it's, it's heavy, uh, but I've used that for float planes and stuff that's going to get wet. The, the biggest difference that you need to do is I screwed on a servo arm to the bottom using the same screws I hold down my servos with. So they're Allen head self-tapping screws. And then you just have to drill a hole in the middle so that you can, once you put this on top of the servo, you can screw it down. And whatever screws stick out, you have to grind it down flush so that your camera can slide into place. To start out, we're going to go into the memory of the radio to the system setup and change wing type. It's going to depend a little bit on what you have, but normally let's say you'll have a wing type normal. We need to change that to one aileron servo and one flap servo. The GoPro camera is going to be running off of the flap servo. Then we'll go down to the flap system. On the DX7, 8, 18, those radios, your flap has three positions. I like to make the up position the camera turning left. So we'll change that number to a negative number and slowly increase it until you can actually hear the the camera start to spin. There it goes. You want to have a very small number. If I increase that number too much, this camera is just going to spin too fast. That's not going to work. So make that number as small as you can. So in this case, it's negative 8%. Mid position, I'll leave it at zero. So the middle position is going to be a stop. Then I'll go full down in the land position. And these numbers I want to be positive because I want the camera to rotate the other way. So slowly rotate them until it starts to move. So that looks like about 6%. So at 6% I'm getting the camera going around. And it can be spinning at any time I can stop it in the middle. And I can go back to spinning the same direction. Or hit the middle stop and then go the opposite direction to have it spin that way. So you end up having to do a low pass or time it. Uh, there's different ways you can tell where the camera needs to be pointed, uh, but I just basically after a while you get used to 
seeing it and telling which way it's pointed and where you want to stop it and change direction.